Welcome to Brandon Socket. Please remember like, share, comment, and subscribe for updates on future videos. This video here, I just want to talk about a simple functionality from within the opportunity, and that is post to DMS up at the top right. When I click on this, it won't work because we don't actually have a DMS attached to our, our demo account, but essentially, you want to make sure all the customer information is correct. Cell phone number, home number, uh, address, email. You know, if you've used the driver's license scanner, which is, there's another video on that. So if you've used the driver's license scanner, you would have the complete address in their date of birth, all that, all that jazz. And essentially what you would do is depending on, <coughs> uh, Norway, I'm going to save. So depending on, <coughs> pardon me, your DMS or your desk in solution, such as Deskit, you would post the DMS and it's going to take all this information. So your vehicle of interest, uh, which we've talked about, your trades, which we've talked about. And there's, again, speaking of the mobile app, scanning a license, there's a quick way to get your trades in using the mobile app. So once we've got all this information, we can post it to the DMS, go to the desking managers and ask, hey, can you work this deal on Jaden Alexander? They will then pull that information up in your DMS or your desking tool. Now, there are limitations to this push and pull um, sort of arrangement between dealer socket and DMSs. For instance, PBS does not have a push into their DMS yet. We're working on integrations and partnerships, so hopefully that gets updated soon. So uh, just, just a quick video talking about how to get these deals into your DMS and conversely making sure we have all the information we need in order to get that information transferred into the DMS so we're not double entering. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.